I'm Dr. Emily Smith. I'm an assistant professor of epidemiology at Baylor University and an adjunct assistant professor of global health at the Duke Global Health Institute. Um, and I'm an epidemiologist, and so that's a population level science, but for me, it's a social justice type of science where we try to figure out where diseases spread on a global nature, who is most at risk. So there's a lot of poverty work related to that. Um, I tend to focus only on global surgery for children. So where are the kids in need of surgery and what do they need? Is it just a fracture or is it a major brain surgery for a congenital anomaly? Uh, my uh, research takes place in so Somaliland, which is in the Horn of Africa, a little bit in Uganda, Uganda and Ghana, um, Northern Nigeria, some in Latin America. But the biggest one in Somaliland was a countrywide study on where are the kids in need? And of those kids who need surgery, how many actually got it? And as you can imagine, the gap is large. 250,000 kids needed it, needed surgery for something, and only 1,200 actually got it. So my job as an epidemiologist is to figure out why. And we found it's, it's issues related to poverty and they can't get to care in a timely manner uh, that they need to. Because it's related to poverty, I've been able also to go to the United Nations and advocate for universal health coverage for kids who need surgical care and advocating for free care and making sure that those children are not forgotten um, at the United Nations level. I represented the Global Initiative for Children's Surgery, which is a, a collaboration of 140 countries. 75% uh, are in low income and under-resourced areas. And I get to be the epidemiologist for, uh, for the group, so that is fun. All of that to say, it sounds like it's been a very linear transition, a great story. The back story is this period of time of figuring out epidemiology and global health and missions, how can I play into missions through my own work, has been a way for God to redefine what all is. And to me, as a female, and I don't think I'm the only one hearing this, is we're told to have it all. You know, have a family, have a career, have children, have a clean house, fashion, and look good doing it. And that's just not attainable. And I learned that. I learned that having it all according to scripture is seeking first his kingdom and then all is added afterwards. Or in the Philippians verse when the Apostle Paul says, if you think you're good, I'm actually better. I'm a Hebrew of Hebrews and blameless before the law. But then he goes on to say, I, I will let it all go for the sake of knowing Christ Jesus and his righteousness. So to me, all has been redefined as a female scientist. I don't have to have it all according to the world, but I really want to seek uh, Jesus and let him define what that all is. That all has been my family, my two beautiful kids and a great husband. It's also been a career, um, but it has also been rest and Sabbath. So I don't want to hustle and I'm hoping to just help people not hustle. And instead of that, just seek, uh, seek what their all is through seeking Jesus.